Greetings everyone, McQuillan here with another video, uh, helpful video, hopefully. This is about uh, farm accounts and uh, how can you how can you develop your, maybe your alt or maybe you want to make a farm um, to help out your main account. Um, I'll come up with just a, a few pointers to uh, assist you in such endeavors. So uh, one of the first things you want to do in your uh, farm account, uh, and this is the way that I've done it, and there are other ways to do it. There are some people who will have multiple accounts and make, you know, for different resources, and then just um, either attack those accounts and take the resources or transfer them, uh, transport them, uh, the resources to their main account. Um, in this one, I am just doing strictly um, very simple because um, I'm lazy and don't want to have to make. You know, worry about you know five, six, seven accounts. Um, so I'm basically going to gather the wood, the stone, and the iron, and then I'm going to use my farm account to make the gold and the grain. Uh, and as you can see, to do that, um, you're, I have made all mints where I could make them. I have made all farms where I could make them, made them, and um, upgraded them as well. So I'll, I'll level 25. Still working on a couple here, um, but beyond that. That's probably where you want to start, at least. I know that um, when you first start out with an account, you won't have as many uh, mints and farms to be able to do that in some space but until a little bit later in the game once you upgrade your castle. Um, but beyond that, you want to look at your commanders, and your commander upgrades are, are great as well. Um, you want to, like If you look at Sheila and her specialization, she has grain 100% production, which is absolutely fantastic with a massive boost for you. Uh, Gene is the same way, another 100% grain increase. And then for your gold, and again, these are all free uh, commanders. So that's what this account is for me. It's a, it's a free-to-play account. I'm not adding one cent to this account. Um, I, if I'm going to do anything, I just I have one account, then I'm going to do it on, and that's it. So um, for the gold, um, Soren is a, another one that gives you 50%, and then as well as, as, well as uh, Rob and Feast. They both have the same, uh, you know, the same amount, 50% for him, and then Feast is down here somewhere, all by himself. Gold, um, another golden net too. So there's, there's those three there for the gold. So that's 150% from your commanders that you're going to get, and then 200% um, for gold or for grain. So 150 gold, 200 grain. So it's always good to have those. And then we look at the Lord equipment. And as you can see on my equipment here, I have four, all four of the uh, Maester set activated, and each one of those gives you gold uh, increase. So like 10% here, 5% uh, here, 10%, and 5%. And, I, and whenever a um, Old Town student comes around, I use all my motivation to go after the Old Town student because that will help for the research for this account and also for upgrading these, this equipment and hopefully more um, more research as well as more uh, gold production. Um, I also use part of the builder set. I use this uh, this hammer down here, which is it's not as much, only 2.5%. It's not really upgraded that much. Uh, it's only level 15. I'm not, I don't have to upgrade it too much. If, um, if I look into it, it's probably a little bit difficult to um, uh, to get it much higher without fully going to the builder set, which um, to do that you would attack the uh, crown, lens riot, crown Lens Rioters, and by attacking them, um, you would be able to upgrade all your builder sets. But I don't I mean, building is only, you can only build so far, so your obviously research is much more important. And then over here, you're going to see the champion set, um, just the. The, this ring is going to give you 12% uh, and it's already maxed out so that's going to be in there all the time and then these two down here are for um, the Rebels end set which is uh, to kill rebel leaders or uh, yes I'm um, not rebel leaders I'm sorry rebel groups and um, so if you kill these the rebel groups then you'll be able to upgrade these as well 6% here and 6% here so they're already at 48 and 40, 55 so they're getting up there close to their max as well but they're also very very helpful um, another thing you want to look at would be in research. So um, 
not only is this count going to be just for farming, but it's also going to, you want it to help your alliance. Because since you're not going to be ba fighting with it, you got to find other ways to help your alliance. And one way to do that is um, to go into your research. Produ the production tab is, is very key. Um, the farming in here, 50, I'm up to 58% there. Once I get the Maester's Tower to 25, I can even upgrade it further. Uh, and then you also look at you have your other ones here that can increase, uh, you know, your your quarry and whatnot. But even those, I don't have them maxed out. But the only reason I had them maxed out is because I wanted the carrying capacity and the uh, uh, resource gathering speed. So when you're out there gathering for these last three here, this will be beneficial to you for sure. Uh, and then another place I went was formations. Again, here's your army carrying capacity. Here is your resource. Uh, gathering speed and then if you want some uh, marching speed um, you can get that as well and if you scroll over a little bit you have the gold dragons man so I've upgraded that a little bit now it's at 14 days so it's gonna be um, you know 14 days for 8% isn't you know very isn't a, isn't a an extreme increase um, I'll get there eventually but right now um, I neglected this one so I'm working on this one it's the capacity and you want that capacity Right now I'm at 11.7 million capacity, so if I just let this go all day, you can see I have 578,000 uh, per hour, which is uh, which is actually really good uh, right now. So um, just keep that going, and then once the um, I increase this uh, gold dragon capacity, then that 11 um, 11.7 million will increase. So um, I would even if I forget the you know to, for a couple days for whatever I forget the account it'll have that gold dragon get those dragons will be there the, the gold will increase so that's another portion that you want and you can go on further there's some things here too I have it I'll get them eventually but like transport capacity who cares redu you know cost reduction oh you can you know your your transport tax is one percent less that's okay fine that just seems ex you know extreme um, then your transport marching speed nobody cares and then your uh, gathering army size um, so those, so those, basically these two here are what you're going to look for, the gold, um, and then at the very beginning, of course, you're, you're helping you uh, gather as well. And then if we go over to commandership here, you can see that the grain management, grain capacity is 17% uh, percent at, at level 9 and 30% at level 10. So once again, Maester's uh, Tower 25, I'll upgrade that. Um, that, is, that is a key one as well. Um, these other ones, they're not that great. But you want to upgrade them too to get to the treasury too, which is another uh, you know capacity. So I'll get another five percent out of that to tip that off. And also in here, there's intrepid spirit, which is um, your stamina limit. It's not really that much. I'm up to 43, but you know that'll help you with your commanders because you're increasing that stamina. And then over here, you can see there's not a whole lot that you're going to really want. So um, that's just nothing nothing too great there. Um, something that's really key is what you want is the refinement. Uh, make sure you get these. They're really, they're actually fairly easy to get. They're only a few days to start, and then as you get down, there may be, you know, eight or nine days, I guess, for research. Um, and I've got it to this far, and I think I'll have to go back and yeah, the endurance recovery. I'll have to increase that. So, um, but these are really, really good for the refinement, and I'll show you what I have going on there. Um, actually, we'll do that right now. Click out here for the refinement. And so every single one of my refinement are the same, all four slots. And you want your endurance cover, recovery uh, percentage and your motivation recovery spent, uh, percentage. So you can, you can increase those as quickly as you can throughout the day and then be able to kill more rebel leaders and more rebel groups. So and obviously the rebel uh, leaders are going to help your alliance and you, and then the rebel groups are going to help just you. Um, but that'll be uh, exactly what you want. And then your research speed will be vital as well. So you want to increase that research speed in here too. I added on the hospital capacity because you only have one hospital. So if you do, uh, you know, you are on bubble and you do get attacked, um, you'll be able to keep you'll be able to keep some of your uh, your troops alive. You could switch this around, whatever you want, you know, whatever you wanted to to switch it to. But you know, like a rally size expansion might be one. Um, so you can, you know, hide more troops for people or something like that for your alliance. That's also a, that's also maybe something that I might actually might want to do, um, is change this hospital capacity because it's so cheap to make troops anyway, and you're not making tier four, you're going to make, you know, tier threes, and they're 
like super super cheap so just something to think about and if you look at my total stats for this I got 13,000 extra you know in the hospital I could spare and then the rest of these I'm hoping it uh, you know gradually get up to like a hundred percent which would be great to to do that as well so we're gonna move away from there and we'll talk about the troops a little bit so um, I have almost no troops as you can see in here I have 242,000 bowmen because they can carry the most and they have a little bit more speed than the infantry and the spearmen um, not as much as the cavalry of course but the cavalry uh, they just they don't carry as much so I wanted to max out the carrying capacity in that in that sense and you can see I have a little I still have a little bit of each of the other three troops and the reason you have those is because um, when you want to join a dragon rally or a rebel camp rally you want to be able to get in there so you, and, and bows are the worst ones you can have you definitely don't want to um, have bows in those so at least have a little bit in there so you can get some uh, some extra boxes for your uh, for your shelf which I have a couple in here for your, my merchant guild so um, that's those are a couple things that you want to think of and then the, one of the biggest uh, boost you can get is in your talents and if you look at your talents go on to the production talent tab go the whole way down and the gold dragon capacity here that needs to be maxed out because that will give you that full 288 uh, percent increase and that's why I'm getting that 578 thousand uh, gold per hour which is really really good um, I guess I didn't need to go in there so that's right there um, but then if you come up here a little further the grain as well um, that's what you want to get as well I, I you could go army care and capacity but like you, if you remember earlier you can get those in research so this isn't vital um, once you have these the grain and the gold maxed out maybe you come back and you could you know um, do that as well but as the grain right now you can see I have 376 percent and which the gold maxed out was 288 so it's kind of crazy but uh, so the next level's extra, you know 20 what's that 20 percent more so that's a, a huge boost from one level to the next and the overall level if you scroll the whole way down is 518 percent grain so if I look up here at my grain I'm making four point almost 4.2 million per hour of grain which is insane amount just an insane amount of grain um, obviously the hourly upkeep for my troops is, is taking away 800,000 so I'm still you know over 3 million per hour um, increasing there so um, I'm still doing really really well there and then I can I can dump all I can dump this grain into my my main account for building troops for uh, research for building um, you know for just about anything that it needs it for um, so that's another thing that's really really good and those talents um, you, you just get in there get the grain and get the gold basically for everything um, another portion of the the farm a farm account is the embassy and the bannerman hall you want to get both of those up to 25 as soon as you can um, not only because you're you're going to be working towards that macer tower 25 but because that embassy um, you can put reinforcements in your embassy so if you get it up to 25 it'll be a million extra uh, reinforcements in there so when when your allies want to hide troops right here is a perfect place to take it so that's, uh, and I've actually upgraded it to the glory level a little bit as well to give an extra 60,000. So you can put those in there too. And then the same thing with the Bannerman Hall, you get that upgraded as soon as you can because if you do, um, the Bannerman Hall give you 2 million at level 25. And if you, uh, let's see here, normal level, yeah, 25, so it's, it's the same there. I was, there's a there's a few buffs, a few extra things. So it's like, a, it's a little bit more, it's 48,000. But so if you do that as well, that also can help you can make fake rallies and um, have your your alliance can join them for to hide more troops so that uh, when you're in a you know kvk or something it'll help, it'll help that um, it's also very very good um, one of the biggest things one of the first things that you want to do um, with it with an account like this in research is the expedition and pacification so you're probably going to do production first to get some of this stuff up so you're you know, you're so you have some uh, production in each one of these uh, resources here, but your, your expedition and pacification is uh, one of the best though. You need, to, you need to get that, so you can see I have it maxed out the whole way across um, for until I get to the Maester Tower 25. And then once I get there, this will probably be the first place I come back to and then get these all up to 10. And it'll, of course, it's gonna, you know, 
it's going to be uh, it's going to take a lot of days to be able to do that but I'll, I'll be able to do that probably right after I get to 25 uh, that's a definite way to do that um, we already talked about refinement um, that was that, like I said it's another great place to have to have things uh, and also you have let's see here the warehouse the warehouse is particularly another good one uh, so you, the glory level is what I'm talking about not the regular uh, warehouse which actually yeah, that isn't too bad either um, if you look at this you can your limits increased here to 2.5 million so you, you want to upgrade that to, to level 25 to get to the glory level and then once you get there the motivation endurance recovery again you know I have it up to 5.5 percent I'm sure there are plenty others that even on free accounts have had it up to seven or um, beyond that which what's beyond seven yeah seven nine twelve um, there's you'd probably be up there if you're really focused on it um, so those are a couple other couple other ones that I would look at too um, then if you go to your friendship, it's also a great one to do as well. So if you go into your friendship, you get those friendship chests, and then you open up and then feed or give the proper gift to your commanders. Um, you'll get the aptitude and finance, the two that you really want. A third one you might want is the rally size bonus, because that rally size bonus will help you help your allies increase their you know amount of troops they can send to your fake rallies. But uh, that's that's like a secondary or a tertiary type uh, thing that you want to do with the the aptitude and the finance. The finance you're going to get your gold every four hours. You're going to get ninety five thousand gold, and then aptitude, of course, every five hour or every uh, three four hours. I'm going to get five hours and eight minutes. So you just want to go in there um, and make sure that you're just feeding your commanders whatever they need. So I need to get in here and you know finish this up at some point too. Um, and once they get really high, um, so he's at 40, you know, level 47, so it's going to take, you know, 650 to get him to the 48, it's, you know, so it's a little more difficult, but just, you know, as a, as a farm account, I, you know, I don't want to upgrade Rob. He's all military here, you know, all military, and that's just not something you want. I mean, he has the, if you're looking at the, um, the leadership, the leadership would be something. He has two stars for leadership. So, okay, you, like I said, you might want to upgrade him um, a little bit, but I wouldn't. It wouldn't be a focus. Get everybody to ten, and then work on your your main ones, the two that are going to help you. And, and I believe Tyrion is one of the best ones. Yeah, as you can see him here, he's got your aptitude and your finance. He's got five stars in each one, so that's where you want to go with there. Uh, another thing that can be overlooked sometimes is your dragon. So when you, in your dragon, I have my resource gathering up to uh, plus eight. So I'm getting 20% gathering speed and also 20% resource gathered return. So if I can get on those level five nodes and get a say a three million, 3.3 million on one of those, I mean you're looking at a you know uh, 600,000 extra resources being thrown right in there, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so I've been doing working on him as well, and then your secondary dragon. Um, somehow I need to get rid of these cab attack and health and I'm just gonna merge them into this other resource so then you have two so even my second one is getting you know 14 percent speed and uh, uh, additional resources so that's really really good too and just something to take of note is you know when you're in these you know some of these main events or you know whatever these events are to you know to focus on for this account to focus on getting gold to focus on friendship chess and some of the research speeders um, if you have motivation and um, endurance items, yeah, get those as well. Uh, the Old Town students, of course, and the Crow Crownlands uh, rider boxes, you want those. And obviously the, the more rare uh, honor banners, you definitely want those because you want to try to update those glory levels. Because um, if you can update, upgrade this castle, um, you can get more talent points, put those talent points into your uh, grain increase, or um, uh, you'll probably already be maxed to... Uh, to your gold production because that'll be the first one you want to go to but then you can do grain right after that and that's that's something that you're going to want to do as well um, and then like I said with the the troops that you have you're going to be gathering the wood and the stone and the iron um, you're going to be sending them out it's the, the easiest way for this for this kind of account is I usually just go to level fours I'll look for the level fives occasionally um, but mostly just the level fours and just try to uh, mine those too uh, castle skins. If you if you do spend money on your your farming account, um, like I said, I'm not going to, so I don't have the mint 
for the diamond. So the mint's going to give you your gold dragon capacity by 10%, a motivation increase, and then you can invest in the iron bank, which you want to do no matter what. Um, and then the diamond one, you can get the um, another investment amount, and your gold dragon production will go up 10%, which isn't really that much compared to other places to get it, you know, like commanders, which are 50%, but still definitely worth it. Yeah, so that's uh, that's kind of the main points that I have. Um, there's also um, work towards your Maester's Tower 25 um, after you've kind of you know gotten to that mid to kind of that mid game area with your uh, with your castle because um, once you get that Maester's Tower 25, then you can go into your talents, uh, or I'm sorry, into your uh, not your talents, but you go into your expedition pacification and increase that, and then some of those other ones, your production, you can go um, increase that and you'll be well on your way to just absolutely um, helping out your main account. And the reason I did this and made this account this way, I actually had it with a bunch of troops and I just killed them all off. But the reason that I did this is because you, with a tier four account, you, you use so much grain um, and you use a lot of gold too, but the grain is just the main thing. With the grain, is just, there's just so much for healing troops and for making troops. and. I mean, right now my main account, it's it's like 14 million grain to make 14,000 tier 4 troops, which is absolutely ridiculous. So um, that's just something that you want to look into as well. Um, so that's just about it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to make a comment or uh, send me a message. Aquilin out.